In this video, I want to talk to you about converting an angle written as a decimal uh, to an angle written in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So remember that both of these ways are common when writing an angle and it comes out to just a partial of another degree. So you could either use a decimal to say how much of that other degree you have, or you can use these units known as minutes and seconds to say how much of that other uh, degree you have. If you've never heard of minutes and seconds before, here are the basic units for converting. One degree is equal to 60 minutes, one minute is equal to 60 seconds, and one degree is 3,600 seconds. By knowing these different units, uh, we can actually do the conversion process fairly easily. The actual steps we'll be going through look like this. If we have an angle written in degrees, minutes, and seconds, then we want to take that first number, the uh, degree, and that will become our new number in front of the decimal for the angle written as a decimal. For the rest uh, of the numbers, you want to take your minutes and divide it by 60, and you'll take your seconds and divide it by 3,600. That'll take care of the conversion process, and then you can add those and put it with the first number. This will quickly convert the number into a decimal. Let's take all of these steps and put them into practice. So here I have an angle, 347 degrees, 48 minutes, and 6 seconds, and I want to see uh, what its decimal equivalent is. The first thing I can do is take this number, 347, and it will be my new number in front of the decimal place. So 347 point. Now for the rest, I need to divide by 60 and by 3,600. It's okay to use the calculator for some of these, see what decimal you get. So here I have 0.8. And this looks like it's 0 .001 and a whole bunch of sixes. I'm going to chop it off at just a few. Adding these together, I can put it with my other number. So 0 0.801667. Since I chopped it off, this is now an approximation. So just like that, I can get a, a better sense of maybe how big this angle is. Now if you want to go the other way in this process, here are the steps we'll follow. For an angle written as a decimal, to turn it into degrees, minutes, and seconds, we again take the first number, whatever it is, and that becomes the number in front of our decimal. For everything after that decimal place, We'll multiply it by 60 and get a new number in front of that decimal. That will become our minutes. Then we'll take the leftover stuff, multiply that by 60, and get a new number, and that will become our, se our seconds. There may be a few things left after the decimal at this point, so we may need to round uh, to get to a nice even second. Let's see this process in action. Here I have 105.38 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the 105 and call that my degrees. With the part after the decimal, I'm going to multiply this by 60. Twenty-two point eight. Now this first number is really what I'll end up being my minutes. So let's take the leftover guy, 0.8, and multiply that by 60. Forty-eight point nothing. So I have 22 minutes and 48 seconds. So in summary, remember that when it's written in degrees, minutes, and seconds, you go through a division problem in order to do the conversion. 
If it's written as a decimal, then you go through a multiplication problem to get it into degrees, minutes, and seconds.